So let's talk bridge and the bridge theme and the demos that are available in the bridge theme. So bridge is an amazing theme because it does have over 200 demos that you can import instantly and have a site looking like um, the demo uh, pretty quickly. So, you know, that is probably the most amazing thing about Bridge. Um, you, and the other thing that is amazing about the demos is that they're actually all really beautiful. So it's not very often that you find a theme that has as many demos that you can import and ones that all look really nice. So if you're looking for a, a beautiful, modern, creative looking demo, then you really uh, can't go past Bridge because you'll, you should be able to find one in the 200 plus styles that they have. The other thing um, Bridge has got is it's obviously got all of the ability to build your website out the way that you want it. So it's got the 200 odd demos and it's got the usual things that we're looking for in a theme that you can change the colors that you can add in WooCommerce or e-commerce. It's got uh, detailed documentation, uh, fonts, sliders, the visual composer, which is the way that you can build the internal pages through a drop and drag functionality. Each demo comes with all of the internal pages as well. You can have different header layouts. So you can have, you know, one in the middle or um, underneath the logo, right, left. There's all sorts of different um, menu options for you. You've got all sorts of extras, which pretty much every theme should have. If you're looking at a good theme, you want it to be able to be um, optimized for mobile, you want it to be able to have a social media integration and all sorts of pieces. So it's got all of that. So when you're choosing a demo with Bridge, the thing that I recommend is that you look for a demo that is the absolute closest to what you want to end up with as an end result. Um, the, the only downside to Bridge is that it is so flexible, there are so many options that it can be confusing for a beginner. So I do find that uh, a lot of people actually do uh, sign on and enroll in my Bridge course because they get sold by this amazing demo and then they import it and then they go, oh, what do I do now? It's a little bit complicated in the back end and you do kind of either need to know WordPress or, or know what you're doing with the theme to be able to edit it. If you are picking a theme and you are just replacing the copy and the images and not really doing anything else to it, it's, it's super easy to do and you can follow my lessons to do that. So if you're just replacing this image, replacing the copy, you want to keep everything else the same, then Bridge is amazing. So, you know, this would be, you know, super easy to change. And I have actually got some tutorials using this theme. Uh, so long as you have amazing images and, you know, the same amount of copy, that sort of thing. So the problem that can happen is when you get into the back end. So I'll show you, this is actually my uh, husband's website that I built. So I actually chose this demo to build my husband's website, who is a musician. So I decided I was going to have one slider instead of multiple sliders. I was going to change this to a video, um, add some extra copy in here, and then I was gonna alternate this section and this section down for the rest of the website and not use the rest of it. So this is the site that we created um, from that demo. I added a video for the background. We added an image, kept the same amount of copy, did a similar section here with some uh, copy and then alternated down the site. So this is how we ended up with, with this site. Now I wanna show you the back end of the bridge theme. When you come into the back end of WordPress and you come into the bridge options, you have all of these options to change the logo, the header, the footer, all of this sort of stuff. Now, most themes have this. Um, so you're able to update your fonts. You're able to update your colors. You can update certain settings for the blog, the portfolio, the contact page, put a call to action on the bottom of the website, all sorts of bits and pieces that pretty much every theme has, which is if you're building a, 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 you know, a basic website, this is usually enough. 
Now, the extra layer that makes Bridge a little bit confusing for the beginning is that you have this added options of changing the individual pages. So all of the settings that were in the, oops, there it is, all the settings that were in here, a lot of them are in the pages as well. Um, so I'll just scroll down here and little things that are a bit different to some of the other themes, like when you're doing, you know, two columns, this is the one that had, uh, this is this section here that had two columns. It's kind of like, Oops, sorry. It's kind of like one under each other. It's a bit confusing because it's meant to be left and right. So I just find it just that little bit mm, more, uh, you know, slightly less user friendly to use. Uh, and then you come down to the bottom of it and here is all of the repeated extra options. So you can change the header for every individual page and you've got different settings in the headers, you've got different settings for the titles and the sidebars and so on. So when you import a demo and you want to change something, sometimes you have to go searching. Is it in the options where you need to change it? Is it in the individual page where you need to change it? So you know, it's it's fine if you know your way around WordPress and you uh, you know are happy to kind of like dig around to figure out where you need to update certain sections on the website. But if you're a beginner, then I would perhaps consider something like Salient, which may not have all of these amazing demos that Bridge does have, um, but it's a little bit simpler to use. So that's kind of my personal opinion on Bridge. If you are choosing a Bridge website, Flux has got three different options for you. Um, we've got a complete DIY course where we teach you how to use everything. So if you are a bit afraid and you know oh, it might be a bit complicated for me, I do actually teach you. So that's not a problem. I've also got an option where we'll take care of the tech bit for, for you. So we'll install WordPress, we'll install the theme, we'll install your demo, we'll make sure it looks exactly like the demo that you chose. Then you can follow the lessons in the course to edit the copy, edit the images and so on. And then the final option is obviously a done for you package where you choose it, you give us the images in the copy and we'll replace it all for you and give it back to you. So they're the three options. Um, if you wanna go ahead with Bridge and you need a help, that's how you can do it. And lastly, if you're just about to start preparing to create your Bridge website, we have a website preparation course, which is at fluxdigital.courses. And what that's going to help you do is help you not only choose the right theme, is the Bridge the right theme for you? So you'll find this video in there, but there'll also be creating your style board, your logo, colors, really important of preparing the copy for your website, uh, preparing the images for your website, even how to resize and optimize those images in Photoshop and how to use Google Drive and what your website creation options are. So this is a free course. It's in fluxdigital.courses and it's the website preparation course.